I got massacred. <laughs> That was kind of funny, actually. It's like, he just walked in a room, and these skeleton archers just annihilated him. I am angry. And Mark already jotted down those, so that's good. I am sinister. Beware, I live. Beware! I will kick oh, all Speaking of sinister, it's like, as far as... Utterly terrifying things go in video games. Sinistar will always be one of my favorites. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of fun being terrified by a giant floating head. <laughs> I am the big giant. That's from the big giant head. The thing about Sinistar is they made a new game in 3D. Ooh. Yeah, it was not scary. If I could just get a clip of Sinistar. Oh, here's the room. You know what? Yeah, try not to die this time. Wow, that works. <laughs> I love how it's like, run through it, kill it, run through it, kill it, run through it, kill it, run the kill it to kill it, and then arrow in the head. Run through it, kill it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I like... I mean, if, if we could tire. just get like a short clip of the new, like I don't know, five seconds or something of the new Sinistar saying, "Beware, I I am Sinistar" or something, just to show how utterly bad it is, that that would be great. Because I know it exists on YouTube because I watched it. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> Beware, I am Sinistar. It's like, what was that? <laughs> Beware, I am Sinistar. Yeah, that's better. They did, it's like they weren't even trying. They kind of resemble Sinistar, but it's not as Oh, scary. get the piece of paper. And the pencil. Okay. Whoa! Here's another one. Woman, goat, goat, woman, goat. Yeah, in the ditch recording where I completely got annihilated. <laughs> Ow. Whoa. That doesn't... I don't know. It looks like a... Resident Evil enemy. <laughs> Resident <thought>. Steevil. <laughs> It's what funny. happens when the president is a zombie? <laughs> president Evil. President Evil. Uh, hilarious. Uh, so, what is that's a knife? That is a knife. Yes. I I don't want the knife. Can, can I not pick up the knife? That that would be awesome. And other than the fact that some of these areas look really samey. This is... this game looks oh. pretty good. This is where I need those notes. Okay, read off the first one you jotted down. <laughs> goat, woman. Goat, woman, woman. That'll open up that door. Uh, no, not that one. I, I couldn't tell from the cinematic which one it was. <laughs> Ooh. And this will give me max HP upgrade, bitches. Nice. Fully restores my HP and gets my HP up by 10. Oh, by the way, there's no leveling up in this game, so yeah, you only increase nice. your... S well, I can definitely say the microphone, the microphone, the microphone is picking up stuff okay. just fine. Read off the second thing that... Uh, <laughs> Woman, goat, goat. Woman, goat. <laughs> Woman, uh, uh, I'm not that one, Leon, that one. Woman, goat, goat, woman, goat. 
which unlocks this door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sam. Mm -hmm. Goat, goat, woman, 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 goat, 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 woman, woman, goat, goat. Ooh, I learned an attack extension and got a thing that killed everybody. Poison zombie. Poison zombies can poison, by the way. Uh, just thought I'd throw out so that. So they're bit of... still more efficient at poisoning than poisoners. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about that. Actually, the poisoners that only paralyze. Yeah, that was weird. How are we looking on time? We're only five minutes in. Whoa! Swords! Evil swords! Resident evil swords! I mean, Wait, they're... swords of face though. Uh-huh. <laughs> and they dropped a lot of money. Oh, anytime you see a door that looks like one of this, one of these, it pretty much always leads to some nice thing. Bloody cape. This accessory, when equipped, makes it so that every time I get hit, I regain two hearts. Ah, I see. There was actually a cape just like that. In, uh, it was a cape equipped, not an accessory equipped. In Symphony of the Night, you found it in the Colosseum. Mm-hmm. Except it wasn't Nice cold. slide there, Leon. <laughs> do, 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 do. That, so that's a gauntlet you're wearing? Yes. That is like one of the goofiest looking gauntlets I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Infinity gauntlet, it is not. Well, if it were an infinity gauntlet, we wouldn't be playing this game now, would we? It'd just be like, girlfriend, here. <laughs> Now, bad guy dead. Oh, I'm dead. The end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of these rooms. Oh, it's one of those rooms. There's enemies down there. Oh, yeah. Ow. Well, ow, jeez. They look like the the burners from uh the uh. The ship levels in Mario 3. Hmm. Oh, hello. Oh. <sighs> call for John. For the last time, T-1000, I'm not going to call for John. Call for John or I won't save, save your game. <sighs> Whoa! Jeez, that guy came out of nowhere. Oh, I heard him clashing about. Boss room! We're gonna find a boss! We're gonna find a boss! Wow, no cinematic or anything. Oh, that's just for this boss. Jeez. Ooh, this room is very nasty. Oh, what's so nasty about it? I'm just a long, slender, tube-like object going through orifice after orifice. <laughs> Ugh. By the way, the boss here is weakness to both crosses and holy water. But the cross, while it doesn't do a whole lot of damage... I mean... Look at that. <laughs> Two but, <or> three. <laughs> but no. I mean, look at the hits I'm getting. With the total damage. Plus, it uh, helps me out against those things that come out. Zappy zappy. It looks like a face! You see the two holes look like eyes, and yes. it looks like a mouth shooting out electricity. Pew! Pew pew! <laughs> that kind of looks funny. Look at the boss's health bar. Wow. Solus. Now, those are the little things. This boss is called the Undead Parasite. Oh. No, I was just saying what was on screen. <laughs> I didn't think that was what it was called. Giant messed up sex monster. <laughs> Holy cow! You're, you're annihilating it! Oh, my 
this orgy has been brought to an end. <laughs> this is like total. Yeah, I guess I'm going to do something over here. Yeah. That's just the door. Yeah. It vomited out an orb. What the heck? What just happened? My eyes freaked out. <laughs> oh, and if I equip the blue orb, the cross now does this. Wow. Ugh. Wow. Can you believe we're only we're still only ten minutes into this video? You've been wandering around. You beat a boss. Hmm. You've done well to come back. Is there anything you need? What you buying? Wrong game. <laughs> Ooh, I can buy a sacrifice. So dull. It's a skate doll. <laughs> but you gotta equip it. I think I'll buy this white bishop. And... Give me some potions. Don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> That's like Fantasy Star Online, right? Yes. Man, it's been years since I've used Escape Doll. <laughs> years! <laughs> well, now that we've cleared out the sacred, the House of Sacred Remains, or Ruins, or whatever the hell it was called, and glowy glowy orb orb. Now we'll be heading off to the uh oh, that white bishop I bought from him is one of the sacred is one of the magical relics. When I activate it it raises my defense. Follow the blue arrow. Now the blue arrow just tells you that there's a door there. It doesn't. It... I seriously think they play tested this, and there was like, no one knows where the doors are. Oh, uh, what do we do? Oh, make giant glowing arrows. Oh, sure. Don't don't give us the ability to control the camera or anything. You know that would be logical. Don't make the doors easy to distinguish from the rest of the area or anything. Do we clash with our style? And giant glowing arrows doesn't clash with the style. Wait. Let's see, if I remember correctly. Now, notice how it won't... If I walk on this, it tells me where it goes. But if I walk on these, it doesn't. That's mm -hmm. because it'll only tell you where it goes once you've been there. Oh. It's like he's ready to play a game of Beyblade. He's on a giant top. <laughs> Love the music here. Anyone for Bone Croquet? Oh, hey! By the way, you can just stand on that thing and leave. So you can just go into every area and leave immediately, just so you know exactly where each portal takes you. <laughs> so they might as well have just told you outright where each one takes you. Alright. This is the Anti Soul Mysteries Lab. That guy's on fire! Alright. There's Ooh. never a shortage of enemies in this game. Nope. Actually, when is there a shortage of enemies in any Castlevania? <laughs> the only time there's a shortage is when you're outside the castle, but it's called Castlevania. Not outside the Castlevania. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's levels on other Castlevania games where you spend a lot of time outside the castle. Yeah. In fact, in Order of Ecclesia, you don't even get into the castle until, like, the very end of the game. Oh, actually, I don't want to go that way.
that way just yet. Uh, uh, ooh, fireplaces, huh? And one of these guys are on fire. Fire! Oh, we find the fire whip in this level. Cool. After fighting an optional boss. Is it also a completely solid object that gets thrown down as such? <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Remember in the first episode where the guy throws down the whip and it's like a solid chunk instead of behaving like an actual whip? No, it just kind of floats there. <laughs> How many minutes are we in? Fifteen. Alright, well, we'll... This is the perfect time to end. We'll see... I'll see you back for more Anti-Soul Mysteries Lab. Say John. No!